I pay Paul. Do you want to build a snowman? I do. Uh, I think she just wants to sleep, though. Good evening, <laughs> Elsa. What, what dream are you having? Ooh, Elsa, huh? Ah! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Olaf, congratulations. <laughs> and I'm Kristoff. That's a person. Congratulations on being an actual species, Ricky. Mm. First Come on, Olaf player, is cool. Olaf, am I destined to play an inanimate object for eternity? I thought you changed the uh, list, though. Didn't Val, you do? Or I thought you. Didn't you do that? Your good friend Val cast you as Fen, the reindeer. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not in the show. I'm directing the show. Ah, you can. Direct you can do list. both. Looks like you'll be joining the race. This character might be kind of hard to do that, but. Oh, and by the way, Carlos, we have cameras in the stage manager's office, but uh, nice try recasting the show. Ah, okay, that's what I. Okay, I was confused because I'm, I'm like, what the hell was that about then? Okay, so the, so that ending scene was kind of pointless then. Like they did that for no reason. I thought that was gonna be a big deal. Was... Am I talking to myself? So talking to myself I, I, honestly I, I was kind of thinking about that one guy um okay? <laughs> that one good singer the guy what's i forgot his name already just journaling what part does he Reframing get the he's like the best singer so no offense to everybody else here <laughs> oh. the american girl doll samantha um okay and definitely a capricorn rising yeah okay tonight's gonna rock <laughs> hmm? Yeah, she doesn't like you very much. Yeah, I think he wants to talk to you about this whole direct thing and oh, oh, oh god, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to barge in. Love is an open door. <laughs> nice. All these years trying to figure out how to be okay with just enough or almost in the spotlight, but not quite. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm doing air quotes. You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Okay, no. Honestly, believe Anna has a bigger arc and is more challenging yeah. to play. But I was thinking that. A good way. I was thinking that too, yeah. I want the read through to be flawless. I, I mean, he was Chad. <laughs> Gina, like, like I don't want to disappoint the Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're nervous. I mean, understandable. That was a really smooth line, though. <laughs> now, everybody, sometimes. Well played. Well played, Gina. Most of them are not poisonous. Most of them? Yeah. I can't really do that. You have to come back. Come on, play the numbers. Does Val strike you as a little... What? I don't have the word for it. Mm. Mm, she seemed pretty nice to me. And Maddox. At first, I had your vibes. Me, I was a Leo rising. Okay, nobody knows my birth chart better than me. Except Madam Stephanie. Uh, uh, my psychic slash life coach? Uh, came uh, to my birthday brunch? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, don't, 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 don't say that to me like I'm supposed to know that. Tough love sister time here. It feels mm. out of character, Ash. Oh. Mm. Hey, I'm sorry if I overstepped with the whole Leo rising thing. I just picked up a vibe. Oh, it wasn't a big deal. Good. She Your made mom. it a big deal, but the hell are you? Yeah, hey, what? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, what was she doing? Uh. I come here sometimes to think. Doing Seriously? over here. I'm hungry. I eat the Twizzlers. When I'm thirsty, I. Yeah, I think I called them twisters in the last reaction. <laughs> twisters. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to sing like that? It's a long, stupid story. Go ahead, we got time. Not too much time, though. <laughs> Make it short. Raised myself on YouTube, because my parents were always at work. <laughs> you raised yourself like, on yeah, YouTube? My grades tanked, and my mom put me on ADD meds. Oh. Didn't work, because I don't have ADD. Mm. I have AAD. Mm. So, AAD? All adults disappoint. Ah, mm. uh, okay. I will have this one is called The Ballad of Shallow Lake. And every word is true. <laughs> anyway. She lived 200 years ago. One night she heard a whistle, the spooky kind. The sound can make your blood run cold. So why are you acting like you had you forgot how to sing in the last episode? Made me for it made me think that you didn't know how to sing. I forgot for a second. Oh. Hmm. Um, um, Courtney didn't look like she was. Really a true story. I was gonna. I was gonna hear the whole time like. The woman in the woods. 
Lights. Mm. See, that's a no for me. <laughs> Camp Lake was founded. It's happening. A long time ago by a married couple, Mr. John Fine and Mrs. Susan Fine. Everybody loved Mrs. Fine. Mrs. Fine heard a faint whistling sound deep within the woods. Mm-hmm. So she wandered out there. Oh by herself. Okay. Wait, Courtney, this isn't even that find? scary. Was it Corbin Blue's helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> and ever since that night, uh, Mrs. Fine has been wandering the woods, hungry. Oh, someone's lost, out there right now. And, and angry. You guys, am I Susan Fine? <laughs> uh, okay, all right. You're ruining her story. She's trying to be scary and spooky. It's scary. Not... It's it's supposed to be scary. Yeah, I, I know what it's supposed to be. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I I get it. Maddie, You're just wait. bad at this. <laughs> but again, it's not that big of a deal, anyways. What the fuck? You, you could have just laughed that off, and it, it wouldn't even been a thing. But yeah, I know he feels like a dick now. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you probably could have stopped after the, after the first interruption, but you know, yeah, whatever. Hey, who are you trying to suffocate, honey? Um, spiders, ghosts, men's rights activists. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway. Okay, you are the reason why people don't trust boys. What? Uh, yes, you what, too, what, Carlos. What is up with your comments in this episode? What thing in the woods? It's literally the spookiest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen Hereditary. Oh, come on, let's mm. go, Each. Don't mind Each. Oh, Just my God. A... I have to finish marking up the script before Corbin comes tomorrow. I have a lot Yeah, he's under life. a lot of pressure right now. Gina, I Gotta really... focus. I get it. Come on, guys. It's fine. You can just go with, uh, you know, <laughs> should just go with Ricky. You, you stay here and get some work done. Yeah, maybe a little too quiet. Oh, don't tell me you're scared. Oh, you wish. <laughs> Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah. It would make me feel a little bit less like a baby. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Hearts racing. Ah. Chicken? <laughs> I, mean, I heard it earlier. The, the whistle? Oh, the sound that drove home. Tell me all you want. We'll see how scared you get when you actually make the try. <laughs> I just noticed. I didn't even know. I didn't even notice I was smiling the whole time. Hey, Ricky, think um, think maybe we should head back now. Oh, oh who's the chicken now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the woman in the woods. Maddox said she had a voice like an angel. Angel voice. Hello. Now what? Follow the sound. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Who am I when who I am is changing? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I, I would think I just got done watching this really dramatic arc with you. Any, any any excuse for you to sing is okay with me. Even if it is ridiculous. Wow, if you just ignore, like, you know, her being, oh God. <laughs> wow, Ricky, what the, was that you screaming or her? I couldn't tell. I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I think everyone is all, like being over dramatic in this. Ricky was trying to get no, me. No, I'm loose glad you have friends, Jet. Really, I'm sure Mom and Dad will be thrilled. Mom and Dad. Uh, no, this was the uh. one place. It was mine. Because no matter what's oh. going on with you back at home, and let's be honest, Jet, there was always something going on with you. I'm pretty sure this Jet wasn't revealed, and I would have remembered that <laughs> unless I talked over it. Okay, so that that ex okay, so the, the the teasing makes more sense, I guess now. Okay, you know. I think this um, Corbin Blue TV show thing. I thought it was gonna be like my big break. Hey, it still could be. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I don't know with the, with that role. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Gina, this is clearly your big break. I mean. Along with her. I mean, she can still, you know, you know, make can make I the best out of the role she has, you know. <laughs> this is Arena's big break. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. There you are, Carlos. You need to stop leaving our tent without a hall pass, 
Okay, I woke up and you were gone, and obviously I thought you were dead. Okay, for the <laughs> time, obviously. What's the second issue? Mm. Oh, Ricky and Gina are 100% missing. <laughs> what? I'm sure Ricky and Gina are... Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, they're, they're, they're fine, all right. Hey, they're more than fine. Tonight was a they're amazing. Uh, and we are still walking. Yeah, I was going to say, like... <laughs> At all. No, awkward? Mm, could not be us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you're, you're totally awkward, but in a very adorable way, you know? <laughs> are we just going to end it like that? Huh? That's fine. That's, that's fine with me. <laughs> oh, my God. They're just making it obvious at this point. I mean, I just almost feel bad at this point for all everyone else involved in this love triangle, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, Rini is dead. We, we can all agree on that. It's, 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 it's confirmed already. And now we got EJ and um, Gina. It's it's just it's, it's, it's to me it's obvious where this is going, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, a pretty good episode. We find out that um, Jet and um, Maddox apparently they're 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 siblings and whatnot. I didn't I didn't. That's interesting. Again, that, that makes the whole teasing thing make more sense to me. It was kind of otherwise I thought she kind of overreacted, but now I mean, after she explained it, I still think it's a little overreaction, but it makes sense now to me. Why she got that, you know, upset over and, and why he, you know, acted the way he did and whatnot. But anyways, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about this, though. <laughs> Another very, very um good episode. And, and uh, like I said, Rena, to me, it's just so obvious what's happening here. But um, nonetheless, like they said, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And I'm really enjoying this journey. So I hope you guys are, too. Anyways, until next time.